Okay, so this is the very last problem homework A that I was not I was not able to cover uh, during the class today. Uh, since we, we ran out of time. So this one has an intermediate switch in the middle. Um, I just find out this is super simple, so I don't have to uh, write on the paper and do the calculations for you. Um, now let's just go through this really quick. So this, what this one does is the switch at T0, uh, it's gonna switch, the switch will be uh, changed from here to here. And then it's gonna stay there for 250 milliseconds and then switch to C, okay? So in that case, whenever it's at T0, it's over here, um, everything on the right hand side are disengaged. So it's basically just this part of the circuit. You can do a, a source transformation to convert this one to uh, 50 milliamps times 2K is the voltage and flip this resistor to the top, okay? Because it's right there for a long time, so there's no current. Um, so the voltage at these two nodes will be exactly the voltage um, over here, okay? So that's the initial voltage. So whenever this switch being placed at B, initial voltage stored in the capacitor doesn't change. Uh, it's just like a floating capacitor has some floating charges being stored over there. Uh, there's nowhere that it is able to discharge it or being uh, charged up by something else. So it's basically just holding that hundred, uh, holding that voltage uh, and staying there. Okay, not doing anything. So whenever this is being switched to C, it forms a, a little circuit. And this one is exactly a the same circuit, the, typ the typical schematic for the natural response. Uh, the initial voltage is 100 volts, and it's going to discharge through the resistor following a certain um, equations that we, we talk about, we cover in the class. So this find out, uh, just find out this is really simple. So um, yeah, that's the explanation for this problem.